Hello everyone, it is Sunday. Thank you for joining me for a very short tutorial today on heat embossing. I know with the Card Making 101, I did mention embossing, but we did just a, um, just a basic uh, embossing with the um, manual machines, but now I'm going to just demonstrate briefly what the heat embossing is. So with heat embossing, you do need a heating tool. These are available at all... Um, craft stores this is the recollections um, one of the things you must know is that the heating uh, tool should be hot when you're going to do the um, the heat embossing of course um, and I'm just going to demonstrate here really quickly for you if you do enjoy this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then of course prescribe to my youtube channel so um, you would not miss those nice little tidbits that I would be posting in between now for that you'd need your heating tool you would need your the ink that you're using there's um embossing ink i did have embossing ink but it looks like they all dried up of course your stamp or whatever you're using your um embossing powder and whatever it is you're using to stamp this is my um we are memory keepers uh, my precision press advanced um stamping tool and I'm going to use that so you can see exactly what I'm referring to. Now, this is a little powder um, with cornstarch that I made, which is um, supposed to help not let the powder cling to different areas. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by just stamping on the image that I would like. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use this here. This is a praying hand. Lord alone knows we all need prayers these days. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to make sure it has it is covered completely. And then I'm going to go ahead and press so that I can get the image on properly. Okay. Now, this is basically the image here. It's very light if you can see it. Now, um, I'm just going to just kind of lightly do this because I was supposed to have done it before and I didn't. So let's see if we can get away with this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Let's see if any of that powder will cling to it. If not, I might have to use. Let me see this. You see, it's kind of light. But then um, at least that's the idea. Once you stamp on, you put the um, uh, image on and it's wet, the powder is supposed to stick and cling to it. So we're going to just work with that for now. It's not the best demonstration, but I just wanted you to get the idea of what the heat embossing is. So this is it here. So I did the stamping. I have the image on. I'm going to turn this heat embossing tool on just to make sure that is hot enough. That's one of the things that's very, very important so you can get the um, embossing done, you know, properly. Now, one of the things you can do is kind of lightly pass it at the back so you can kind of feel the heat, you know, coming through to make sure it's hot enough and it, of course, does help. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get it through here. Just to make sure. Okay. Now, again, this is very, very light. But you can see the gold on the hands there. So this is basically what it is. It is getting the right ink using whatever embossing powder you need your stamp or your image whatever you would like and of course your um, card making uh, paper it could be 110 it could be 65 pound it just depends on what you want to um, put your image or your wording on and of course um, make sure that your tool is hot enough now before you even stamp on you want to just use um, there there's I forgot what they call it but there's a little pouch of powder that's available out there you kind of just lightly dust this off here onto your onto your paper and then go ahead and stamp your image and then um, it's supposed to prevent the ex the excess um, embossing powder to you know just be all over your paper randomly 
um, you know, and at least help just your image to have that embossing powder. So um, I do apologize if this is not the best that I have shown you. But again, this is just a brief idea of how heat embossing works. It's very simple, very easy. Um, so anyone can do it. Just be careful because the machine gets really hot and you don't want to burn yourself. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, go ahead and just um, feel free to send me a, you know, ask me anything. If you'd like me to redo it and do it better than this, I will be more than happy to. But if you get the basic idea, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And then, of course, um, if you have done heat embossing before, I would appreciate any comments that you have or any tips that you can provide for other viewers. And of course, myself, we all learn from each other. So have a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.